we are going to go over area of composite figures. So when you're given a composite figure, the first thing that you're going to do is decide what shapes that you see. And this first shape is actually divided for us with a dotted line. So we have a rectangle. and a triangle. So you need to find the area of both of the shapes and then you add them together and that will give you the total area of your composite figure. You need to always write the formula. If you write the formula, you're less likely to make a mistake. So to find the area of a rectangle, it is length times width. So in our rectangle, we have the measurements of 12 and 5. And when we multiply 12 times 5, we get 60. So the area of our rectangle is 60 inches squared. So now we need to find the area of our triangle. So we're going to write our formula. We use area equals base times height divided by 2. So when you're looking at your composite figure, you can see that there is not a number given for our base, but we already know what it is because it's connected to our rectangle. So if one side of our rectangle is five inches, then the opposite side is also five inches. So the base of our triangle is five. Now we need to determine the height of our triangle. So there is a line that goes across the bottom of our composite figure, and it says it's 18. So 18 inches is how long the entire composite figure is. So from right here to right here is 12 inches. So that takes up 12 of our 18 inches. So if you subtract 12 from 18, you will get six. So that means that from here to here is the remaining part of our 18 inches, which would be six inches. So the height of our triangle is six inches. So we're gonna do our base, which is five inches, times our height, which is six, divided by two. So now we have 30 divided by 2, which is 15. So the area of our triangle is 15 inches squared. So now we have the area of our rectangle and the area of our triangle. So to find the area of our entire composite figure, the entire shape, we just need to add those two together. So we're going to take the 60, which is our rectangle, and the 15, which is our triangle, and we're going to add these two numbers together, and that is going to give us 75. So the area of our composite figure is 75 inches squared. So when we go down to our next figure, it's not divided for us. We have to divide it by ourselves. And you can divide it any way you want to. Remember that the shapes cannot overlap. 
I'm actually just going to divide it right here. So I'm going to have two rectangles. So I'm going to write down rectangle one and rectangle two. And I'm going to write the formula, which is area equals length times width. So we're going to do the bottom triangle first, which is this one right here. So we're going to multiply 15 times 3. And 15 times 3 is 45. So the area of our first rectangle is 45 centimeters squared. So when we go to our second rectangle, it will not be 9. And the reason that it's not 9, even though it says 9 right here, is because we've actually used 3 of those 9 centimeters when we found the area of our first rectangle. So we used this three, which means from right here to right here is six centimeters. So for our second rectangle, we are doing area equals six times eight. And when you multiply 6 times 8, you get 48. So the area of the second rectangle is 48 centimeters squared. So in order to find the area of our composite figure, we have to add those two together. So we're going to add 45, which is our rectangle 1. 2 our 48 which is our rectangle 2 and when we add these two together we're going to get 93 so the area of this composite figure is 93 centimeters squared Okay, on this shape, it's asking us to find the area of the shaded part. And we actually have a square inside of a rectangle. So I'm going to write my rectangle. I'm going to write my formula to find the area of my rectangle. Then I'm going to write my second shape. And to find the area of a square is side squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find the area of my rectangle. And in order to do that, I'm going to have to multiply 10 times 8. And that is going to give me 80. So the area of my rectangle is 80 inches squared. So now I need to find the area of the square that is inside my rectangle. So the side of my square is 4 inches. And remember, when you're squaring a number, it just means you're multiplying it by itself. You're not multiplying by 2. So it's not 4 times 2. It's actually 4 times 4. It's 4 to the power of 2. And 4 times 4 is 16. So the area of my square is 16 inches squared. So this problem is a little different because it's asking us to find the area 
of the part that is shaded. So when we found the area of the rectangle, that part is shaded, but there is a square right inside of our rectangle that is not shaded. So in order to find the area that is shaded, I actually have to take the area of my rectangle, which is 80 inches. And then I'm going to subtract the area of my square, which is not shaded. From the 80 and that is going to give me. Sixty four centimeters. Squared. Okay, when you look at the problem right underneath, you'll see that we have a rectangle and we have a triangle. So I'm going to write rectangle. is area equals length times width and then I have a triangle which is area equals base times height divided by 2. So in order to find the area of my rectangle I need to multiply 7 and 5. And when I multiply 7 times 5, I get 35. So the area of my rectangle is 35 millimeters squared. So if you look at the diagram, it's showing that the entire length of my composite figure is 14 millimeters from here to here is 7. I need to know from here to here in order to find out the height of my triangle. So if I subtract 14 minus 7 I will get 7. So that tells me that the height of my triangle is 7. I also know that part of the base of my triangle is 5. If this side of my rectangle is 5, then this side of my rectangle is also 5. However, this is not all of my base of my triangle. I have to include this as well as this. This entire part is the base of my triangle. So I actually have to add 5 plus this 2 plus this 2. So the total base of my triangle is going to be 9. I'm going to multiply that by the height of my triangle, which is 7. And then I'll divide that by 2. So now I have 9 times 7, which is 63. And I'll need to divide that by 2. And when I divide that by 2, I will get 31 and 5 tenths millimeters squared. So now I have the area of my rectangle and the area of my triangle. In order to find the total area of my composite figure, I need to add those two together. So when I add, 31 
and 5 tenths, which is my triangle, to my 35, which is my rectangle. I'm adding because I'm finding the total area of my shape. I am going to get sixty six and five tenths millimeters squared. Okay, this composite figure, or number one, is made up of a rectangle and a semicircle. So, we always need to make sure that we're writing the shapes that we're using. And that we also write the formulas. So the formula for a semicircle, you're going to use the formula for to find the area of a circle, which is area equals high radius squared. But since it's a semicircle, half a circle, you're going to need to divide it by 2. So to find the area of, we're going to do the rectangle first. So to find the area of the rectangle, I'm going to multiply 18 and 2 tenths times 10. When I multiply these two numbers together, I am going to get a hundred and eighty-two and it will be centimeters squared. Now I'm going to go to my semicircle. So it looks like they didn't give us any measurements for it, but it, they actually did. So if this side of our rectangle is 10 centimeters, this side is also 10 centimeters. So the 10 centimeters is actually the diameter of our semicircle. So we have a diameter of 10, but we need the radius for our formula. And the radius is half of the diameter. So our radius is going to be 5. So now we have area equals, we're going to use 3 and 14 hundredths. We're going to multiply it by our radius, which is 5 squared. And then we're going to need to divide it by 2 because it is a semicircle. It's half a circle. When I square 5, again, when you're squaring a number, you're not multiplying it by 2. You're multiplying it by itself. So 5 squared is 5 times 5, which is 25. If you constantly write the steps as you go and rewrite it until you get to the end, you're less likely to make a mistake and get the correct answer. When I multiply 3 and 14 hundredths by 25, I get 78 and 5 tenths. 78 and 5 tenths would be the answer 
if it was asking for the area of a circle, but it's not. We have half of the circle, so we still have to divide it by 2. And when we divide it by 2, our area is 39 and 25 hundredths centimeters squared. So in order to find the total area of this shape, I have to add the area of my rectangle, which is 182. And the area of my semicircle, you always need to make sure that you're lining everything up correctly. And that is going to give you 221 and 25 hundredths centimeters squared. So our second problem looks like a sideways ice cream cone. So when I look at it, I see one triangle and a semicircle. So you can divide shapes up any way that you see it, as long as the shapes don't overlap in your composite figure. And I can divide it up one way, you can divide it up another. But the actual area of that composite figure is going to be the same. So it doesn't matter how you divide it up, you're going to still get the same area for that shape. So we have a triangle. And we have another semicircle. So for a triangle, we have area is equal to base times height divided by 2. And semicircle, again, we have area equals same formula finding an area of a circle. But we need to divide it by 2 because we only have half that circle. So we're going to do the triangle first. And we have area equals, so they gave us half of the base of our triangle. And we need the entire base. So if it only goes halfway across and it's 11, the entire base would actually be 22. So our base is going to be 22 times the height, which is 16. And when I multiply 22 times 16, I get 352. I still need to divide by 2. And when I divide 352 by 2, I get 176. So the area of my triangle is 176 centimeters squared. So we're going to go to our semicircle. And we have area equals, we have pi times our radius. They actually gave us our radius this time, which is 11. And we have to square it. And then remember, we have to divide by 2 because it's a semicircle. So when I square 11, when I multiply 11 by 11, I get 121. And 
when I multiply pi times 121, I get 379 and 94 hundredths. But then I need to divide by 2 so I can have the area of my semicircle. And when I divide this by 2, I get 189 and 97 hundredths centimeters squared. So in order to find the total area of my composite figure, I'm going to have to add the area of my triangle to the area of my semicircle. So I'm going to take 189 and 97 hundredths, and I'm going to add it to 176. And when I add these two together, I get 365 and 97 hundredths centimeters squared. Okay, on this final shape, I have a triangle. And this time I have a quarter circle. So remember, always write your formula area equals base times height divided by 2. So for area of a quarter circle, you're first going to write down just the formula to find area of a circle, which is area equals pi times radius squared. But you only have one fourth of that circle. So because you have one fourth of that circle, you are going to divide by four. So first we're going to find the area of our triangle. And to do that, we are going to multiply our base which is 14 times our height which is 28 and a half and we're going to divide it by 2. So when we have a quarter circle from here to here is the radius which is 14 but also from here to here is the radius. So this is also 14. So when I multiply 14 times 28 and a half, I get 399. I'm not done because I need to divide that by 2. And when I divide 399 by 2, I get 199 and 5 tenths centimeters squared. So now I'm going to find the area of my quarter circle. So I'm going to put area equals, I have pi, my radius, which was given to me, is 14 squared over 4 because it's a quarter circle. And when I multiply 
14 times 14, when I square 14, I get 196. And I'm most definitely not going to forget to divide by 4 because I keep rewriting it as I go. When I multiply pi times 196, I get 615 and 44 hundredths. I'm not done because remember I have to divide by 4. And when I divide that by 4, I get 153 and 86 hundredths centimeters squared. And I'm still not done because I need to find the area of my composite figure. So in order to find the area of this total shape, I'm going to have to add my two numbers together. So I'm going to add 153 and 86 hundredths. I'm going to add that to my 199 and 5 tenths. And when I add these two together, I get 353 and 36 hundredths centimeters squared. I'm going to go ahead and write it up here. So as you can see, these problems actually aren't hard. They're long. They take more time to do than some of the other problems that we've done, but they're not hard. You're still doing basic multiplication. You're doing addition, subtraction. They just take a little bit longer to do. So don't get discouraged when you see these problems. Just take your time. And if you have any questions, just let me know.